If you're here, it's because you want a fast and reliable way to create vertical videos that people actually watch. The good news is that today you can make high quality shorts, reels, and TikToks without spending money, without filming anything, and without complicated tools. Most people think you need expensive software, advanced editing, or endless time. And that's why they never start. But that ends now. By the end of this video, you'll know how to build complete vertical videos using three simple pieces. The script, the voice, and the visuals. And we're doing everything with free tools. No trials, no hidden limits, no watermarks. You get a ready-to-use prompt, you paste it, you customize one line, and you instantly get a full short ready to bring to life. Everything you need, the full prompt, and all the tools is available in the Discord, linked below. So grab your topic, follow the steps, and let's create your first high-quality short together. I also have good news. In our Discord, we've released a new volume of our PDF, completely free for everyone who supports the channel. In these volumes, you'll find the best free AIs, tricks to squeeze 100% out of today's tools, and tips, secrets, and updates we don't share on YouTube. To get them, just join the channel's Discord. There, you'll also find links to all the AIs we're using today, plus the prompts we used. You'll see a bot PDF section. Post the link to the video you watched, and one screenshot showing you liked, subscribed, left a positive comment, and watched the whole video. That's it. The bot automatically sends you the latest PDF. Jump into Discord. There are tons of other features. People share Sora codes, give advice, a lot that can help you. All right, let's get to the AIs. We all know that AI is reshaping the job market rapidly. Nearly half of workers worldwide fear unemployment due to AI and technology. Customer service, marketing, software, finance, no industry is untouched. But the real issue is that people are still living in a bubble. They still think they won't get affected until it hits them like a truck. But I want you to make a smart choice this Black Friday. While most people are spending on things that lose value, the smart ones are investing in learning what's shaping the future. Which is why I have teamed up with Outskill to bring you a two-day live AI mastermind training, which has so far been attended by 10 million plus people globally. They are hosting a two-day live AI mastermind workshop this Saturday and Sunday, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. EST. Now, usually, this is a paid training worth $395, but Outskill is running their Big Black Friday sale and offering all of my viewers a free seat in the training. I highly recommend you attend this workshop, because not only do you get AI certified, but will also learn how to build AI-powered workflows, use AI tools, and eventually launch businesses generating close to $5,000 in weekly revenue. It is rated 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot, and you get trained by expert mentors from companies like Microsoft, OpenAI, NVIDIA, Google, and more. People who have built and shaped the current AI landscape. In just 16 hours, you will learn 10-plus AI-powered tools, master AI in Excel, Sheets, and Presentations, start building your own AI agents and workflows, and even join a community of AI builders inside their seamless learning dashboard to meet like-minded people and collaborate with them lifelong. But wait, there's more. If you attend both days, you'll unlock bonuses worth $5,000, including a prompt Bible, a roadmap to monetize AI, and your own personalized AI toolkit. So, if you're already planning your exciting weekend, trust me, nothing's more exciting than planning your future. Save your free spot now via the link in the description before the seats vanish and join their WhatsApp community so that you never miss a beat. So let's begin with the foundation, the script. You open the prompt from the Discord. Inside the prompt, everything is already prepared. The hook, the short scenes, the narrator direction, the pacing, and the visual descriptions. The only thing you need to modify is the topic. Maybe you want to talk about an artist, a historical event, a discovery, a place, a list of curiosities, or a short how-to. Whatever it is, you write it in the small space indicated inside the prompt. Then you paste the full prompt into ChatGPT or Gemini. 
And yes, the free versions work perfectly fine. You hit send, and the model will deliver a structured short-form script. This response includes several parts. First, you get a title, short, catchy, and relevant. Then you get a short description, usually a sentence or two, with emojis, perfect for uploading. After that, you get the core of your content, the narration broken into small segments. This makes everything so much easier. And for each segment, you also receive a visual prompt. That prompt describes what the AI should generate visually for that part of the story. So you don't have to come up with any imagery ideas. Everything connects. What the narrator says matches what appears on screen. If you want to adjust the tone or energy, you can ask the model to rewrite the narration to be more emotional, more serious, faster, slower, more mysterious, more cinematic, more friendly, anything you want. The prompt is already built to handle that. But even if you don't change anything, the default result is more than good enough to produce a powerful short. Once you're happy with the response, copy only the narrator text, the part that will be spoken. Sometimes I'll ask the AI, give me only the narration and remove everything else. It will return a clean version, and that's the text will turn into voice. You don't need to manually split scenes or label anything. For text-to-speech, we only need clean narration. Now let's convert that text into a voice. This step seems intimidating to a lot of people, but trust me, it's simple. And the tool we're going to use is completely free and unlimited. Open the link in the Discord to the Google text-to-speech tool. You'll see a place to paste your script. Under that, you can choose your voice. There are several options. Brighter, warmer, more serious, more energetic. Listen to a few and choose the one that fits your topic and mood. Then comes the most important part of the voice step, the style instruction. This little box is extremely powerful. Here you explain how the narration should feel. You can ask for a calm documentary tone, a mysterious tone, an excited tone, or a slightly slower and clearer delivery. You can ask it to emphasize key words, add gentle pauses, or speak with more emotion. This small instruction has a huge effect on the final audio. If you write nothing, the voice sounds neutral. If you write something like calm, confident, documentary tone with smooth pacing, you'll immediately hear the difference. Generate the voice, listen carefully, and decide if you want to adjust the instruction. If it sounds too fast, slow it slightly. If it sounds flat, ask for more emotional variation. You can regenerate as many times as you want. There's no limit. Once you're happy, download the audio. That's your narration. You see your cat every day, but you don't really know them at all. If you want multiple voices in one video, you can. Just split your narration into different parts, generate each one with a different voice, download them separately, and combine them later. The platform lets you do this without limitations. But most of the time, one consistent voice is enough. Now that your narration is ready, it's time to bring it to life visually. This is where a lot of creators get stuck, because they think they need to film something or find stock footage. You don't. We're going to use Meta's generation tools, which are also completely free and unlimited, and they're seriously powerful. You can generate images or videos directly, but I recommend generating images first, then animating them. This gives you better control and a more consistent style. Open the link from the Discord and look for the creation panel. The first thing you do is set the aspect ratio to 916. This is the vertical format for shorts. If you forget this, your images might come out horizontal. Now take the visual prompt for your first scene. This prompt was already generated for you by the model when you made your script. You don't have to invent anything here. Copy that prompt and paste it into Meta's prompt box. Click Generate. In a few seconds, you'll see four different vertical images. Look through them carefully. You want something that communicates the idea quickly, is visually clear even on a small screen, and matches the tone of your narration. If the images look too similar, increase the variety. If something looks too strange, lower weirdness. If the images are too stylized or chaotic, slightly reduce stylization. You can regenerate as many times as you want. It's unlimited. Once you've chosen an image, click on it and then press Animate. Meta will automatically create a short animated version of that image. Many times, the default animation works beautifully. 
It adds subtle motion that feels natural and cinematic. If you want more control, you can choose Custom Animation. That lets you specify how the camera should move. You can ask for a slow zoom, a gentle pan, or slight motion around the subject. You don't need to make anything complicated. Simple movement is more than enough to make your video feel alive. Repeat this process for each scene in your script. You don't need 10 scenes to make a good short. Somewhere between 3 and 6 scenes is usually more than enough. Because the prompts were generated to match your narration, the visuals will feel unified. That's what makes the video feel professional. You're not stitching random images together. You're following a story with visuals that reinforce every line. As you create your visuals, try to keep the style consistent. If the first scene is bright and colorful, look for similar tones in the others. If the first is dark and dramatic, follow that direction. Consistency makes a big difference. And again, don't forget that this is all free. You can regenerate until you're satisfied. Take your time. The better your images, the easier everything else becomes. At this point, you have everything, the narration and the visuals. The final step is to combine them. You can do this easily using CapCut, either on your computer or your phone. Import your narration first. Then listen to it and identify where each scene begins and ends. As your narration plays, drag the corresponding animated clips into place. Because your script was generated in structured scenes, it's easy to match the visuals with the voice. If a clip is shorter than the narration for that segment, you can extend it, duplicate it, or slow it down a little. If it's longer, trim it. Once everything lines up, you can add captions or small effects if you want. But you don't need much. When your narration is strong and your visuals are clear, the short works. Export your video in vertical format, and it's ready to upload. That's it. You've now created a complete short from scratch, using only free tools without recording anything yourself and without paying for software. You can repeat this process as many times as you want, and the more you repeat it, the faster you get. A great way to speed things up even more is to batch your work. In one session, you generate several scripts. In another, you generate all the narration. In a third, you generate your images and animations. And then you edit everything together. This keeps you consistent and saves a ton of time. Now you have a system. A real system you can use any day you want. You're no longer blocked by lack of tools, by cost, or by complexity. You can experiment. You can try different topics. You can see what people respond to. And you can evolve your style. You can create stories, facts, tutorials, mysteries, whatever you want. And because this workflow is infinite and free, you can practice without pressure. Everything you need is already waiting for you in the Discord. The prompt, the links to the tools, and the additional resources. I update everything regularly, so you always have access to the best and most current options. If you got value from this, make sure to join. We share prompts, experiments, examples, results, and updated methods as new tools appear. You're ready now. Go to the Discord, get the prompt, choose a topic, run it, generate your narration, create your animated scenes, and publish your first short. The best way to learn is to take action. I hope this gives you a clear path you can use right away. I'll see you inside.